Oh. Oh, no! oh. In this video, I'm gonna make a massive 3D wall art puzzle. Each individual part of my artwork will be a separate cutout piece that you have to put together in the right way to finish the puzzle. And then in the end, I'm gonna have my employees battle it out in a head-to-head -head race to see who can put it together the fastest. The person with the fastest time gets a fully paid day off at a luxurious spa as their reward. 3D wall art. I know for this one, I'm definitely gonna need a strong plan because I need to be thinking about this in pieces and chunks and depth and <laughs> front to back order of operations. But I'm gonna start sketching and see what I come up with. Starting out the sketching phase, I knew I wanted to keep my artwork relatively simple, but I discovered later, even though it looks simple on paper, there is a lot of individual pieces and individual elements in this illustration. I also wanted to go with a very classic 1000 character because I knew the competitors were pretty familiar with my artwork and they needed some kind of help to be able to put this thing together. As I was sketching it, I was thinking of each thing as an individual piece, so I pretty much didn't erase any lines. I kept all the shapes intact, so I knew the full shape of them that I would need to cut out. Okay, I got my sketch and Procreate done. Now I'm gonna shoot this over to Adobe Fresco and start breaking it out into individual pieces and vectorizing them and getting ready to turn this into a puzzle. Let's go. I brought it over to Adobe Fresco so I could use vector brushes to trace the pieces. That way I could stretch this small drawing to be like eight feet tall so my puzzle would be huge. So this crazy mess right here is all of my individual elements broken out into pieces. Now I think I have some serious file prep in my future and something tells me this is gonna take a while. I exported a copy out of Fresco over to Illustrator for my desktop. Then I upscaled the image to eight feet tall. Then I started exporting every single individual piece as its own file. Then I opened each of those files in Photoshop so that I could carefully crop each one down to the correct size. I tried to crop each piece as closely as possible so that each piece could fit on the fewest sheets of paper. Then in Adobe Acrobat, I set them to print with the poster setting turned on so it would split the image into multiple sheets of paper. Whew, that took a while. I think I have like well over 80 pages to print out, but let's go to the printer and print out all these shapes so I can transfer them onto some wood panels. Wow. Okay, I have a lot of pages here, so it is time to start doing some serious cutting. Good Lord, this is my novel. My manuscript for my Civil War drama. Let's get snipping. Go! Wow, that took a while. Just cutting out the paper took so freaking long. I kind of thought this was gonna be a quick project. Geez, I counted up all the pieces. One, two, three, 13, 14, 15, 39, 40, 41, 65, 78, 80. And there's 81. So next up, I got this big freaking sheet of wood. I got a couple of these. I might need more. I'm gonna take my cutouts, lay down some transfer paper. Hold on, where's my visual aid? I need some transfer paper. I'll be right back. Haha, -ha. lay down some transfer paper and trace all these onto these boards, trying to squeeze them into tight spaces. One quick tip about transfer paper is that you can reuse it a lot of times. Can you see that? I've used this one quite a few times, or maybe just once. But I'm gonna try and stretch these as long as possible because I got 81 shapes to trace onto these bad boys. Ooh, every step in this process is gonna take quite some time. I'm freaking out a little bit because I thought this was gonna be one of those quick videos because I'm trying to hit a video deadline. And uh, as usual, I've bitten off more than I can chew but there's nothing to it but to do it. Let's start tracing some of these. I laid down my transfer paper with the graphite side down, taped it in place, then put the pieces on the transfer paper and taped those down too, and just use colored ballpoint pens to trace them out and transfer them onto this wood sheet. I think these are gonna be a little bit close together when I go to cut them out. Oh. 
Okay, we got the first board going here. About half the pieces are done. I still got to trace the other half, but Nick and Ty are here. So I think we're going to go ahead and bust out the jigsaw and start cutting this piece out while I have the help. As we busted out the jigsaw, we ran into the age-old problem of really rough edges on this cheap, thin wood. We tried laying down some clear tape, but that didn't help. And tried laying down some painter's tape, but that really didn't do the trick either. In previous videos, commenters have told me to mirror my image and trace it on the opposite side because I'll get a clean cut on the bottom. But then I run into the problem of not being able to view any of my line art as I'm actually painting the art. The lines are there as a guide for me to be able to paint this correctly. And if all the lines are on the bottom of the pieces, they don't help me at all. We decided to just leave about a quarter inch buffer around the outside of all the pieces. And then we would figure out how to shave down that excess material later. Peter had me go by this belt sander so we can clean up some of these rough edges. Nick and Ty were absolute lifesavers here because as they were cutting and sanding the pieces, I was able to continue tracing and transferring the remaining sheets I still had to do. With 81 total pieces in this puzzle, we really had to work together as a team and set up an assembly line. Okay, Ty and Nick are still working on cutting and sanding, but I need to start painting these pieces because time management is key right now. Let's go. Flip, 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 flip the face, place the eyes, eyes Golden black on the back, I make the shadows rise Then, then I sketch around the pupils Should I make it blue or make it purple? Actually, I'ma make it teal And every time I start to face, I know I will be traveling on to another place And my brush is large and straight, I think I have a lot to taste And I highlight shine like the moon Till it twinkles, I am different like the Reapers on the Pringles Make it mingle with the jigsaw, I am Smeagol with the ring No, my precious, my, my, my beverage This segment, he's, he's, he's reckless Long hair, don't care, no trouble Pink hood, all wood on the puzzle Hello, and welcome back to Puzzle Buzzle. We are here on location at Ten Hundred Studios with one of the contestants for this upcoming competition. Nikki, what do you know about this competition you are about to be entering? Honestly, I don't know a lot. I just know it's a puzzle. Puzzling. Do you think you have a lot of experience with puzzles? I would lean more. Okay, great answer. Now, I have heard rumblings that one of Ten Hundred's other employees, Nick, will not be competing in this challenge as he has been working on this puzzle the entire time. Do we have any idea who the other competitor is going to be? Nikki, do you know? Uh, I've heard rumors that it's going to be Peter's wife, which, in my opinion, that's nepotism. Definitely sounds like a scam to me. Let's take it over to the next contestant. And now I'm here with Red Dig, two Ds and two Gs for a double dose of that gangsta gangsta. Red, how do you think you're going to fare in this competition? What competition? The competition where you're going to be building a puzzle. The one people working on, painting it and stuff like that? Yes, they, they did paint it. This puzzle seems to be very quintessentially 10 hundred. How many pieces of 10 hundreds art do you think you've seen? At least a thousand. At least a thousand. Some would say even 10 hundred. What do you think your chances are of taking this home and winning that spa day? No chance at all. None. Well, if you're a fan of Red Dig, might not be your day. Anything else to say for the folks at home? Yo, what up, Ray Ray? Poo poo. Shout out to Ray Ray and Poo Poo. How diggity damn, y'all. There's a lot of these pieces, a whole heck of a lot of these pieces, but I am getting there. It's about day three of painting them. Time management. <laughs> when will I learn? Just a bit more painting to get all these pieces done. Let's smash this thing out so we can put it together. Let's go. <sighs> 81 pieces and I'm finally getting there. The finish line is in sight. While I finish painting these last few pieces, I'm gonna let you know that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is a website where you can build a website. And with Squarespace, it's super easy. They have these amazing award-winning templates and all you gotta do is drop your awesome content into their beautiful templates and boom, you have a website. There's no coding, there's no HTML, there's no programming, it's super simple. My website has been hosted on Squarespace for years and years, long before they were a sponsor of this channel. I love their e-commerce solution their image galleries, they have member exclusive areas. And every time I want to change or up
update my website. It's just so simple and easy. Plus with Squarespace, they have 24 seven customer support so they can help you out with any kind of problem you might have. If you're an artist or a designer or a photographer or have some kind of passion to share with the world, you deserve to have a beautiful website. So what are you waiting for? Go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And then when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com forward slash 100 for 10% off the first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks, Squarespace. Okay, it has been days and days of painting, but I think I've finally finished all these pieces. Now I think I gotta lay them all out and figure out how this whole puzzle is gonna fit together. Oh my gosh, this is looking so sick. Okay, now what we gotta do is put hanging hardware on the back of these, put spacers and risers, and go through the difficult task of actually making this thing hang on the wall correctly. Hello, welcome to Hanging with Peter. Today, we're hanging with Peter. I feel bad for Red and Nikki trying to figure this thing out when you're the one who put it together and you're struggling <laughs> on the second piece. And I'm like looking at the picture. <laughs> I really had to make sure I was taking my time putting together the puzzle because I knew everything had to be exactly in its place for the competitors to put it together later. That look better? You want to step back? Yeah, that definitely looks way more like proportionally accurate. Ah! Locking it. Yeah, boy! Let the competition begin. Hopefully it doesn't take them as long as it took us. The competition begins. Okay, welcome to the 10 hundred extreme <laughs> puzzle. <laughs> the name of the game is to complete the puzzle faster than anyone else. Okay. As you can see, there's three pieces on the wall, kind of a starter for you. But I also have this list of benefits that you can call on if you need it. Number one, you can ask us to give you a hint and we'll add one minute to your time. Oh my goodness. Number two, you can look at the sketch for 10 seconds, but it'll cost you two minutes of time. That's a lot of time. <laughs> Number three, we will give you the name of the piece. I would say like left thigh. If we told you it was left thigh, that would be like super helpful to you. Number four, look at the finished puzzle for 10 seconds. So you would look at a photo of the actual completed puzzle and that'll cost you four minutes. And number five, we will literally place a piece for you for five okay. minutes. Damn. Oh my God, no, I'm not <laughs> choosing any of those choices. We'll see how it goes, you might want it. I really don't want to waste my time on these. Oh. If you place a piece correctly, I will tell you that ding, it's ding, correct. Ding, ding. Wow. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. I am. In three, two, one, go. And he's off, ladies and gentlemen. He went straight for the face. What the fuck? So these tabs are exactly what they're supposed to be. If it doesn't work, you're probably missing some pieces. Oh my God. Okay, I gotta see the picture. I gotta use the sketch. Okay, the sketch. You can look at the sketch for 10, nine, three, two, one, sketch is done. If I had the back, like the first layer, I probably would be all right. Do you want to use a hint? How much is that? A hint is one minute added. Yeah. The mm -hmm. hint is it's easiest to start from that foot and work your way up. What? Okay. Where do I think this goes? It's not correct, mm -hmm. you didn't say it. That is correct. Okay, one down. Hmm. I'm gonna guess no. <laughs> Thought that'd be an easy piece, but never mind. I don't even know if this is a leg. <laughs> doesn't work. That's gotta be right. I mean, it's right, but you're missing a lot of stuff. I'm leaving that there for the moment. <laughs> I'm just gonna start putting like... Oh, she's organizing some pieces here. That looks like that goes with that over there. Kitty cat. These are similar, actually. You're the first contestant to organize pieces. Have you ever done a puzzle? We got some eyes, some hair. Oh my goodness. I may have a whole decade <laughs> looking at your art to kind of... What the f*** is this? What is this, a pink dick? <laughs> that is not correct. Red, you should use another hint. Okay. The inside of this boot goes a pink calf muscle. Okay. You don't reach. Wait, what do you do with that one piece? Let me see that. <laughs> mm, this is an interesting piece. No. <laughs> 
No? No. Okay. You want a hint? It'll only cost no. you one minute. Nope. I feel like it's way too much time. In the grand scheme of things, it's really not. I think I'm gonna start with the head. Eyes. Let me see. Oh my god. That is incorrect. So this is a hood. I know a hood when I see a ten hundred hood. Do you want to burn a minute and get a hint? What's my clock at? 1526. Oh my god. Yeah. What connects the head to the body? The neck. Oh. Is that a neck? Yeah, that's right. That is correct. Yes. Those eyes are looking kind of hollow. Right. What goes right there? <laughs> is that funny, Nick? Yeah, it was kind of funny. <laughs> One of those answers in the question kind of things, you know? Remember back in your hoopa days, you would always be like, eyeball. Oh, it's an eyeball one. <laughs> ah. That's an eyeball. And you got these separated, bro? <laughs> what in the fuck? That's her, that's her. Not bad, dude. You got a sweater? Huh, you got a little sweater, girl? <laughs> I know I need to be working from the bottom up, like you said, and I'm not listening. <laughs> that's all. Ah. You might have to put something else down for some support on that bad boy. I could give you a pretty helpful hint. I'll figure it out. I know I will. The question you gotta ask yourself is, have you burned more than a minute fiddling around with pieces when you could have had a hint? Oh my god, fine. What's the one minute hint? I'm only taking the one minute one. Okay, the hint, the character is wearing pink leggings. You know, it's not too late to just look at the picture. It only adds a measly four minutes to your time. I don't know, I just feel like it's cheating even though it's allowed. You could look at the sketch for only two minutes. It wouldn't give you the colors, but it would give you the shape. How long do I get to look at them? 10 seconds. I don't know, I might look up a sketch, but I don't know. Do you want a hint for one minute or name a piece? Okay, give me a piece. This piece right here is called green bandana. Green bandana. <laughs> 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 That's correct. Really? That is correct. That's correct. How about you name a piece for me? This is center tooth. Okay, I know what you're talking, I know. Mm. That looks like tooth. You can see the actual photo for the cost of- For five minutes. Four, four minutes. Yeah, let me see that. 10, nine, two, one. He has seen the photo. You want to hit for what goes right there? It's a pretty hard piece. Yeah. That middle dot right in the middle of the hair is a green bandana. I believe he is now searching for a green bandana. Oh. You have definitely touched it already. It's green? Yeah. Yeah, boy! Uh, I'm gonna look at the sketch. Ready? Yes. Ten, nine, two, one. Time's up. And was it way helpful? Way more time. You've only added three minutes to your time. Okay. That one's correct. Can you tell what that piece is now? What piece? That piece you just placed? Uh, I guess the waist, maybe. Mm -hmm. Does that help you reposition any other pieces you have up there? Reposition? <laughs> I wasn't talking about I that. I know, but <laughs> I'm like rethinking. Those are fine. They were? Yeah. <sighs> reposition. Anything look a little weird to you? I mean, I guess everything probably looks a little weird to you. The leg? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's better. It's for the price of three minutes. Oh. This is called left shoulder. shoulder. Now it's all coming to me. Look at the sketch. One, two, ten. Time's up. Did it help? That's not quite right. Okay, name this piece. Hip bag. Hip bag. Satchel. Hip satchel bag. Shoulder hung hip satchel. You're just saying words. Where's her hips? <laughs> she got hips right here. Hey, hey. This looks tight. That don't look good. <laughs> okay, one more time with the color pitch. I'm gonna start grabbing pieces. All right, right. 10, nine, one. You know what the fuck is right here. Kneecaps and shit. Damn. Now you got something going. Yep. That is correct. Just made some progress. Wow, dude. In five minutes, you did more than you've done in like an hour and 15 minutes. You gotta start being gentle with that midsection because I don't know if you have everything lined up all correctly and locked in. Why does it seem like the arms are so hard now? Can I look at the picture? Woo! 10, nine, two, one. Ugh. <laughs> that hood looks like it's hanging on by a thread. I know. I need to get these arms. Oh, oh no! Oh. <laughs> Can I just be DQ'd? Oh no, it broke. What the ears at? What the ears at? Let me do the ears. That would make sense, but it ain't it ain't gonna make no sense. On this the day of my daughter's wedding, would you like to use the benefit? Okay. Place a meaningful piece for me for five minutes. Oh. 
What is the name of this piece, sir? It'll cost you. Are you willing to pay the price? I'll pay the price. That is left leg bandage. I did not notice the bandage. Oh, I asked for a piece, man. That was two pieces for the price of one. It's got to be the ear. You guys really doing something right here. Yeah. I had to pause the timer because Nikki had two massive drops in a row. That is correct. She finally got the neck, which is why the face kept falling over and over again. After everything fell, that feels more solid. The wind really went out of Nikki's sails. Uh. <laughs> the stress is real. Look at the finish puzzle, I guess. 10, nine, two, one, four minutes. Man, look at the picture doesn't even help me. Mm, I don't know. Can you name another piece? This one is right under sleeve. Oh, you're so close. I don't feel like it. That's correct. Yeah. Correct. Correct the mundo. Woo! That is correct. And time. Wow. Okay, we're getting ready to stop the timer. You want the step stool? Risky time to not be using the step stool. <laughs> Man, do not knock it down, bro. Oh, oh that piece broke. <laughs> it broke? Oh, okay, we're stopping the timer. He broke the piece in the last second. That's everything. No, there's one more ear piece. Careful. All right. We can just, I think it's just say I lost. <laughs> you might have won. I'm doubtful. I'm not getting my hopes up. <laughs> but you did it. Do you feel accomplished? No. You did it. <laughs> How was that experience? How was that? <laughs> I kind of want to cry. How do you feel? That was some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, man. Wow. So, the final times and the winner. Coming in third place. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's you, dude. Yay. With a regular time of two hours and 45 minutes and That'd 48 seconds, and an additional 42 minutes of hit points, <laughs> we have read with a grand total of three hours, 27 minutes, and 48 seconds. Your runner up prize, and because I feel bad for how terrible this puzzle was to put together, I'll buy you lunch anytime this week. Right on, right on. So, second place had a time of two hours and 22 minutes and 51 minutes seconds with an additional 18 minutes of hint time. First place had an hour and 50 minutes with an additional 20 minutes of hint time. Second place goes to Nikki. First place yeah. goes to Chelsea. Amazing. Good job, everybody. Yeah. Nikki, I will also buy you lunch. We're going to Sizzle. Yeah. Congratulations, Chelsea. Good she job. <laughs> <laughs> she knows your art. She, she you. knows your art the best. Good job. Good job, yeah, everybody. Had, you like... knew where that was going out the door, didn't you? <laughs> I did. See, that's a...